Looking for clues on your mother. Looking for clues on your mom. This is how we play the council. We just wonder who's banging his mom. Everyone. <laughs> That's the answer is banging Lou's mom. Sorry, Lou, it's true. Everyone has known your mom intimately, including me and everyone viewing in the stream audience right now. Is this it? Inferno by Dante. Oh, I should probably put on my headphones. Abandon hope, idea. all ye who enter here. Look at me, Lovely pro streamer. Lovely giving to his guests. Very jolly. Very jolly. Mm, there it is. Hey, Linnea. How's it going? Welcome back to the council where we skewer historical fiction for the lulls. I am in my posh costume again. Glory be unto me, the classiest possum there has ever been. So elegante. See. Um, so the last time we left it here because... I don't know. I checked everything in the rooms, and they wouldn't let us out. And I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this. And I swear to God, I've done this several times before, but I couldn't remember what it was that I wasn't doing right. So I looked it up, and uh, I just did things out of order. It's, you know, how finicky these games can be sometimes. Oh, what's up, Pure? An elegant morning to view. Or I guess it would be evening or afternoon. Afternoon for Lania. Good morning, good morning. Today, we will harass George Washington, and if we get the chance, Napoleon Bonaparte. Because in the end, the proletariat always wins. Viva la revolution, la revolution. Mid-morning for you two. Ah, look at all you Euro characters. You will appreciate my elegance, no doubt. Although I guess it's mid, I guess it's afternoon for me, and then it's mid morning for you. So you're Central Time, so you're behind. You're not in Europe. Europe, you faked Europe. You faked being classy, just like me, filthy Yank. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, there's 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 nothing really um, exciting going on at this part. But we're gonna get out of this freaking room. I promise you that. And check out the book. Okay, so we don't have the aptitude to examine the page with the symbol. <laughs> Our only choice is to leave. We did that. Uh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. <laughs> I love that his nose stays messed up for the rest of the game because we let him get his face slit in the uh, prologue. Just like a lot of work going into like doing that character model difference for the choice. I really appreciate. So, we also came out last time and checked out everything out here, especially this delightful complimentary food basket. Uh, that's not it. There is a specific tree. Is that it? Are you the tree? No. It's a lemon tree. We're looking for a tree of lemon. Is this a lemon tree? No. <gasps> is that a lemon tree? That is, right there. I must have walked past it. Look at the lemon on the ground. Aha! Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. Being. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. Rather promiscuous. She must have left something behind. And left behind many used she condoms in the, the right garbage can. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. Yes, they thought it prevented pregnancy back in the day, but really, your mom is so old, she doesn't have to worry about it. She used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? How did she write a message with a lemon in her? I'm not even going to wonder about that thought much further. Oh, what's a post? Welcome to the classiest stream you'll see today. It's a posh possum. 
I made this wig out of styrofoam. People threw in my dumpster. I know it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's solve this mystery. I can't read. The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. No, don't step back. God dang it. They're going to make me go back to the lemon tree. God dang it. Still did it in the wrong order. Finicky. Where's that lemon? Come here, you. Take it. I would have taken it in the first place if you gave me the option. Who doesn't love a lemon? You could use that in a multitude of situations that come up. You could have it as a snack. You could put it in your tea. You could sprinkle it over your your salad. You could stick it on your book. Use it. Look at us. Regular Agatha Christie's. That wasn't but it. classier. Not to mention I covered half the page with lemon juice. What? Great. Oh shit. Louie, Louie. Lemon's used to write secret messages, not to reveal them. Dope. I'll have to try something else. Well, apparently we just messed up the message. Crap. Crap, I wasn't supposed to do it that way. Okay, when I said I looked up the answer, I meant I did a quick Google and glanced at it and went, Oh yeah, now I remember. And apparently I did not remember. <laughs> ah, take the ink. Why don't you give me the options the first time I encounter these things? Give me some shot at not covering the page in lemon juice. Gosh darn it. Okay, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's still good. What's up, Punisher? <laughs> the, the solution is to just pour the ink over it? That's cr Oh no, look at the mess we made. <laughs> it's just a big blotch. Oh no, I messed it up. How you doing today, Punisher? So, I... I accidentally poured lemon juice all over the secret message written in the book. And now what we're left with is this friggin' splatch. I I have platinumed this game. I have played it through twice before. And still I did this. <laughs> At some point, it's the game design and not me, right? I'm not taking responsibility for any of this. Well, so it wasn't that. I've just stained half the page. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. No. Why did I... was used to write a message in order to reveal one. Ah, uh, you Let's just said that about else. the lemon. You just said that about the lemon. You said the lemon wrote the... Shit. Shit. Look at the book. Shit. There's no way we can retrieve the message. What else is there to find? Ah, uh, embarrassment. This is not the elegant solution I was going for. Yeah, I've got that possum memory. It's like goldfish memory. Only you get to remember the f times people fall down forever. Uh, I must find something else. Oh, Christ, what else is there? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Here's something. <laughs> Let's just smush dirt on it. No, take the ash. Go for it. If this doesn't work, I'm literally going to cry. <laughs> this is not a good... This is not a good plan. This doesn't even make sense to me. Oh, boy. This is dumb. Damn, I'm making a serious mess here. Ah, no! It's no good. Shit! It might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no. Oh, no traces of lemon. <laughs> Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> I bet the message was really important, you guys. Look at that mess. Oh no. I Do I have to still find something else? Just read it. Just, just tell me what it says, bro. <laughs> no. Oh no. I should have I should have really looked up the answer when I looked up the answer, but I I thought I would remember. 
there a book on how to do this, perhaps? It's a weird thing you expected me to intuit, game. <laughs> oh, I can't reach it. I want that chicken nugget. Um. Hey. I don't really think there's anything else out here. Yo, is there any way I could just leave without ever reading the message? No, I'm trapped in this room until I figure out the stupid puzzle. Uh, FU2 game. Secret writing. Many people use this method for their secret correspondences. Light the flame and the ink appears. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, take it. I could I could swear this wasn't here when we started. <laughs> well, I think I've searched everywhere. Because we started in this room right here. And then I turned around and had to go past this. I don't know, maybe it's just hard to see because it's in a sunny spot. A lit candle in a sunny spot. I'm blaming the game again. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I blame the devs. Burnish. Let's just burn it a little. Make it burnish. Let's see what my mother wrote. Thank you, Linnea. Always the game's fault. all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, it could be anywhere. Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Yeah, thanks to you. Great. I hope it wasn't a unique edition or mother's gonna kill me. It now was I better hurry and find most damn definitely a unique edition, bro. You okay. know that. Sir, dinner is served in the red salon. <gasps> Typical. Food. I'm not hungry. Please y give my yes, apologies we are. to all the guests. Shut up, uh, Louis. Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. God, you're a terrible guest, Louis. Let's just go be grateful for the amazing food I'm sure they're preparing for us. Oh, finally out of the room. This sounds like something from a D and D campaign. I, get a chance. I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. You mean the the candle puzzle, or the getting invited to dinner and not wanting to go but you have to? Wonder which way dinner is. Uh, maybe that way. Although, knowing me, I should have picked the exact opposite direction. Running and running and we're not allowed to jump. Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. We'll see him later. Yeah, we'll get you later, Washington. Do 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 gotta go past it do 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 I most certainly went in the opposite direction of where I was supposed to I'm I'm figuring now. But whatever, we took the scenic a different stairway. No, how about he moves? It would not it would not be hard at all for him to say excuse me, sir, and move aside. Like why? Why am I always doing the wrong thing? That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Napoleon. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. So Frenchy pronounce. Oh, we could break into people's rooms if we get more subterfuge. Duly noted. More fruit. Nom nom nom. Locked. Okay, another staircase. 
Aha. Look at her Excuse bloody bulging me, eye. <laughs> I really need to talk to you. No. Is this about last night? Talking no, never that fixes was just anything. just misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. Yeah. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Is it drugs? She can recognize that you're a heroin addict as well, Louis. How's your eye? I've had worse. Please Gross. accept my apologies. If I'd stepped in sooner, you wouldn't have gotten that. My eye's nothing. Look at your Last nose. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? She went missing two weeks ago. Yeah, why do you care? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. If I understand rightly, you share a common past? Are you saying I've made it all up? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. <laughs> Look at her poor sad eyes. She looks like that um, Look, sister I've, from... I've gotta go. Wait, I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? Oh, there it's must a fight. be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Because it's delicious. This is the kind of uh, combat we get. You're right. I, I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You've suffered enough already. I, I respect your silence. It's literally an Please interrogation. We're lying to her. Well, thank you. We're lying to you, sucker. We're I winning this you're talk fight. Game. You're no <gasps> different from the rest of them. Oh no! You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. That's right. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Yeah. Some people care about you, don't they? We're not patronizing at all. Haven't what about you your sisters? Sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist... I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks Woo! for trusting me. You see, before I was born, kicked your ass my mother with words. often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, uh, my he mother. He said, priest, fuck Her that, I'm getting a Satanist. Extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah Duriche concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, and it clearly but didn't work. I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons. That hairstyle even if is it clearly seems evil. To believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. You can't remove tattoo so fingers. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. That's not at all a coincidence. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. I really want to go to dinner. Bye. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, let's go get food. There's nothing starving's gonna do to help it. Louis, stop holding me up. What, you want to talk to the, the staff guy with the mask? Fine. Fine. 
This better be interesting, Louie. I'm so hungry. I didn't eat breakfast. I just had coffee. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Need a vial of ether, a vial of adrenochrome, uh, a vial of laudanum. A water would do me a lot of good. Could you find me some, please? Oh, the tonics are under lock and key, sir. Lord Mortimer only allows access to them in cases of emergency. F yourself. What? That's the last straw. Lord Mortimer himself asked me to take the sea to join him here. I accept it out of kindness. Yeah, he has to provide the drugs. That I prefer not to speak about. And then at long last I arrive and, and you refuse me a simple flask of Carmelite water? Yeah. No, sir. I, I... Your name. Tell me your name. Uh, We're uh, going yeah, to the manager. Sir, Carmelite water. Uh, please accept my sincerest apologies. If sir requires anything else whatsoever, sir has only to ask. Yeah, get bullied. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. This poor dude. I took it to restore. Indeed, this masterpiece must not become more damaged. Let me have it and I'll take care of it personally. I love antiquarian books. It bothers me somewhat. It isn't Sir's job to take care of it, really. <laughs> no, but so hard. I would love to. You'll be doing me a favor by letting me have it. In that case, sir, I shall leave it in your care with pleasure. Damn. May I do anything else for Sir? It sucks to be an indentured servant. Um, I'll come back and ask him for more stuff and bully him more later. I could ask him questions. What can you tell me about people? What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps, sir, uh, would like to know something else? We need to bribe him, clearly. Is there a Medusa around here? What is outside on the island, exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help, sir, in any other way? I mean, it's very good audio. If you listen closely, there's like a really perfect <clears throat> echo added to his voice that sounds correct for the, the space of a marble room that they're in. Ah, why can't I go eat? <laughs> Do I have to keep talking to this dude? I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to talk to anyone. I just want to eat. And they all make me pretend I care, but I'm just here for the food. Ooh, the red room. Très chic. Oh, it's an outdoor brunch balcony, girl. Let's go. What is up? Look at this. It's delicious. Personified for your eyes. Dear friends. Wow, outdoor chandelier. I hope the night was not too short. Your eminence. Oh, my Duchess, God. Monsieur de Richet. Allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Look Affairs. Look at the little napkin fans. Frederick William so II, chic. King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning. I will morning, take his seat, thank you. With us later. My, oh, so, my napkin let us begin. Fan. Give it to what me. What is Mortimer playing it? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? 
<laughs> what the hell was that groan? Uh. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. He's counting the tin sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to be here. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too for as soon breakfast. as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Yay! Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> The higher the hair, the closer to God. The Prussian Britannic coalition is not good for France. The last time we fought against them, our empire went up in smoke. Is the wine to your liking? Very yeah. much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Souterne, isn't it? I mean, the boobs are incredible. If I'm not mistaken, wow. this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It cuts it right at the nip. Right In there. In absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same great varieties as you. There was a bowl of beans just for the British person. that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would, what? Would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. That's so weird to laugh to about say. and bring up. Bizarre. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I'm thinking he promise. burned it down. No, it <laughs> Opportunity is missed. Right? Shit. Yes, Shit. thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. I didn't even see it. What do you think of Volner? Many believe he is the real leader of Prussia. A charming man, but with an iron fist and a velvet glove. I also know he's famous for his love of the hunt. Ooh. He loves ketchup, huh? He started falling asleep. I understand, buddy. Have you any information on this Napoleon? Let's what see what she think, says. <laughs> what is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution and that it almost cost them their lives. Oh, Except they won. That's helpful. Get on. Yes, I heard the news. Monsieur de Richer, <laughs> it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? <laughs> Jealous Washington. Jump, 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 jump. Lord Mortimer Chicken. and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Never heard of it. You must know that I am deeply sorry about their disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still. Never met the man. He's a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course. But I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Oh, no, we're fighting. Of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. Dialogue the agreement combat. stipulates an aid of 50,000 louis d'or for 200 cannons. 
Did he say Louis Doors? I don't know what he means. Louis Doors, he did. No. Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. Swindler. We're both young, but we are not naive. Please don't be offended. I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about. And Aha. I am reassured. Jiu -jitsu. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Oh, a if vision of France. times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? It's a luster. Um, reinstate the monarchy, hell no. The revolution was a good thing, but it gave birth to a monster. We must overthrow the new system in place. Ah, you are right. That's what he wanted Monsieur to hear, Michel, not I what I believe. Assured. Which is the revolution is great, and Your the guillotine is the best. Right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I'm gonna put I you in that like guillotine. To thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. We a hmm. book on, on the, the revolution. revolution. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture, and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. As soon as he turns around, let's throw the book off the edge of the cliff into the ocean, just for oh, the lows. I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> Paper but mache. I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. Ha 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 ha, inside of trading, ha ha. to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations this must be what find Davos is like. at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. Yay, wars are just a uh, chess game for us. Mr. Washington. Oh, what a shiny. Right, we shall meet what? again tomorrow. All the guests shiny. will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. This is what your high school graduation sounded like? Pure, that's quite posh. I proved to Napoleon to be my mommy's worthy successor. I could have searched Elizabeth's room, and I could have searched Napoleon's room, but I tried to get a Napoleon. I didn't have the subterfuge. Maybe I could get some subterfuge now. Am I blocking it? Right. Subterfuge? Yes, there we go. So we can steal things. And um, this one only needs one more to complete. Psychology to read other people's behavior or manipulation to get people to act in your own interest. Ooh, that's a tough choice between the two. And we only have enough points to complete one. Psychology or manipulate? I guess if we get the psychology, we could figure out manipulations on our own. Hopefully. Yeah. So, validation. Alright. Let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. You gotta find the place where all eyes size you up. Um, get more diversion from reading that book, or get more conviction from reading that book, or 
cannot be equipped because it's not complete. Did we already read these or did we already read these? I guess the yellow ones are already done. Okay. More politic points, more psychology points. We'll read the French Revolution one. Start quest! Okay, so we gotta find a statue of Medusa. And as you can see, they've got a lot of free free domain fine art all around the game, and I really love that. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. Yeah, it's a picture of ham. It's my favorite one of all of them. Because who doesn't love ham? Ham ham and eggs. Rum ham. Although really I'd go for a pulled pork. Oh, there's more pictures of food. Love Oh no, it's the same ham cut up. See? See they just reused the same public domain. <laughs> Oh, see, now we can unlock stuff because we got subterfuged. Amber crystals. I forget what the amber crystals do, but we got it. An item, a key with an occult earth symbol. Hmm. No, that's just glimmering. <gasps> Too many books. It's terrifying. Let's get out of here. Let's climb this. We can't. Golden elixir. Ooh. Consume without excess. Huh. <laughs> Please consume with excess. Let's... Which, um... Restore to. There we go. That's what we want. Those are our task points. Actress. The Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Oh, mother said I can't read it. More jelly, or as the French would call it, jelly. Oh, these books are terrifying, especially in a spiral format. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Hmm. Get me out of here. size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? I don't really think the paintings in this room are looking at us more than any other. But I do love the use... Oh, painting by Aang. Molière, dining with Louis XIV. The See? king's posture is surprising, and... It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. See, it's very neat that you get a little snippet about each painting, who it's by, what it's called. Liberty or Death by Regnaud. Well, I'll take Liberty, please. But <laughs> Good one, I Louis. do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Gotta remember, back in the day, there was no TV, not even radio, so... A piece of art like the experience of looking at it as a more I don't want to say primitive person but I can't think of another word just the experience of looking at art would be so much more visceral and and all-encompassing you know there were no moving images yet like this was the most hyper real life could be actually let's see what this is called allegory regarding the declaration of the rights of men that's the least you could say. Is that supposed to be Washington? <laughs> Ew. Yes, there's a lot of neat... Celia. That name means nothing to me. <laughs> Good one. Good job, Louie. You're really teaching everybody watching the stream a lot about art. I appreciate you. Golden elixir. Food. Carmelite water. Drugs. 
I don't see any statues here. Oh, oh, here's a statue. Naked soldiers. Wait a second. Yep, he naked. Oh, what's this? Hello, gorgeous. Having a great hair day. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. <laughs> Probably the Medusa. same thing Mother was trying to do with everyone a else. Hero armed with a sword. <laughs> Very hmm. naked. A hero with a lantern. And the last one. Look at that a butt. Shield. What I'll cheeks? stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Okay. So. The Medusa turns people to stone when she looks at them. And she's looking at that one. So he needs the shield to reflect her. Or to at least not be looking at her. Yeah, he needs to be turned a different way. Rotate. Um, turn him toward the shield. Maybe the light reflecting off helps somehow. Uh, the shield needs to be pointing at her. And um, the sword needs to be jump in her to cut off a head. So if she's not looking at him, he could be looking at her. Okay, the shield probably needs to be towards the lantern then. Lantern. Uh, rotate towards the lantern. There we go. Maybe, maybe he needs to be pointing to the Medusa. I feel like two aren't pointing at the same thing. Oh, what's this? Devil's I steal. Thorn. I'll keep it. That's right, I'll keep it. I guess not. I guess it's not right. Um, maybe she needs to be facing the lantern? towards the shield? It looks right, but nothing's happening. God damn it. Maybe, in this position, the hero with the shield is just dazzling his colleague. Ah. Le book. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Oh, we can read in Latin just to show off. There's an extra line in the Latin translation. The night light was reflected in the shield and blinded the monster. So the hero with the sword seized the opportunity and cut off its head. Excellent. Finally, learning Latin comes in handy. Okay, so the shield guy needs to be pointing... No, not that. It's not the shield guy. How's it going, Leon? If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. What in the F and F? More hints, please. Hmm. The mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time, betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. Ta-da! If I respect the legend, 
I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. The clicking of a thousand tiny cocks. I mean clocks. Clocks. Emily, you scared the pants off me. Almost took don't her eyes out with those things. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. You don't, you don't question us, we question you. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just, I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Oh, quick, think of a lie. Think of a lie. Think of a lie. Uh, make a joke. I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon? We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? How's that a I joke? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, well that no was matter. Dumb. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, ma'am. We're lying. Making us smarter. Everybody knows liars are the smartest. Ancient Greek. Translated. It reads... The all gifted. Could this jar be the original Pandora's box? Emily, no. I've found Pandora's box. It's not as impressive as I thought it would be, but that's how these things usually go. Turns out her box is huge and round. Legend. Once again, women are made responsible for all of the world's evils. And stop you tell playing them. with that pot, you'll break it. Come on, let's move on. God, you're terrible, Louie. Open. Emily. What if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. All right, can we move on now? Look at that. I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No. no. You really do need to do better than that. Loser. And why don't you put the lid back on and not leave evidence that we were in here snooping? And maybe wipe off the fingerprints. Come in. I'll help you wipe off the fingerprints. Let's go. Rep, 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 rep. Yeah. Remember to put it back. A golden fleece. It's freezing. That's, Hurry up. That's actually the pelt of a dog. It's not even golden. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. She has That's taste. A pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. Ah, shut down. <laughs> you suck so bad at talking to girls, Louie. It's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, <laughs> you haven't even opened one. <laughs> oh, this chick rules. I want to play her character. You suck, Louie. Why can't we be the interesting person? Games always say, no, people want a silent, you know, middle ground kind of blank protagonist so they can project themselves on. No, we don't. We want to be the cool person. <laughs> Why don't game, game devs understand this? We want to be cool. We want to be Duke Nukem and kill like a million things. We want to be freaking Ripley and, and kill the alien against all odds. We want to be the cool person. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. That's boring. Ooh, a gun. 
Now we got with some stupid coins. Louis, you're bad at stealing. Get better at thieving. What's up, my dudes? The earth isn't flat, turned out. Plot twist. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Hell yes, yeah, sword time. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. Très magnifique. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. Yeah. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And yeah. And we all know where that got her. When yeah. you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Apparently, Europe is like New England, where all the basically similar states pretend they're very, very different culturally and are fighting with each other. Amber. I wanted to get Here's that shiny behind us. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. What? And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. What? I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Apparently. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Right? Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. Right? These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know. I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. Who knows? We need that an would estate mean tax. Some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what. That's she was why she needs for. the big hairstyle to or balance out the to forehead. Or protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the Palace, palace, palace. Maybe we'll find something. I said shiny. Now to get that shiny. Hey. What is that you found? Just A something ugly. Pendant. Look how ugly. Let's throw it in the What's garbage. Going on? Nothing. Where are you for going? crying out loud, Emily, you lunge for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I it's place a fight. my trust in you, Louis? Oh, 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 oh. Uh... When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. Where's our That's secret it? handshake? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> your boobs are and definitely I bet you a strength. Where I'm weak, haven't you? You're a little weak in the hair. You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduce themselves, and you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course, but. 
What I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. A very long-winded way of saying, you should smile more. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? You are shut down, sir. Yes, it's perfectly clear. You're already working with someone. Ah, well spotted, Louis. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. No, we it's want more. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since That's no rude. one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so... Your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? I've played the Fashion game before. No one even knows. Yeah. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant Win affected the fight me again. so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma. My twin sister. Dun dun dun. Oh. Now I get why you Evil said you twin. had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. What? Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. That's crazy. Clever. No. But isn't it complicated? How do isn't you make it, it work? nuts? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, one woman, we both four her. boobs. This time though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, alas. a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Your sister's banging my mom too! Are linked. It's Damn clearly it. a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. No. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. No. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Don't threaten You're me with a good time. With me. It's time to leave. <laughs> Don't side eye me, bitch. <laughs> I ain't keeping your secrets for shit. I'm a possum. Possums don't keep secrets. Their greatest joy is exposing them and then playing dead when they're caught. I ain't checking my journal so, ever. What do you think of our first adventure? Boring. I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, get man, oh, you're not dressed. She's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need Girl. to talk to you right what? now. It's that good dirty evening, dress. Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. Courtney, love, you back please, in your room. Don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. <gasps> We're about to get some nookie. What? Yes, let's go. What are you I'm even sure thinking there was a about? Je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. No. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What oh, I no. Do? I mean, oh, no. What a choice. Do I go get laid? Or do I maybe bang this crazy chick? Ah, I don't know, man. That one, she was so, she's so hot. But this is very interesting. <laughs> What's going on here with these tattoos? Nobody did this back in the day. This was not 
this is not normal and she does like the modern day feminist haircut like i don't i don't know i was also gonna say earlier her eye and this haircut and the scar and everything remind me of the sister in hemlock grove i don't know if anybody watched it but it was like the second tv show that netflix ever did and it was about vampires and it starred bill sarsgaard and famke jensen and it was actually pretty neat, but I don't think anybody ever watched it but me. Had one of the best werewolf tra transformations I've ever seen, in personal opinion. Hemlock Grove. Maybe I'll do a, a condensed uh, watch through of the series. Just like the highlight bits for Halloween. That's a good idea. I should write that down. Excuse me. I'm writing down a note <laughs> so, so the stream can wait. Hemlock eh. Grove. Awesome. I wonder what costume I could make for that. That would be interesting. Sorry, this is important too. I'm totally paying attention to you guys. Yeah, Hemlock Grove. Surprisingly good. The forgotten second ever TV show by Netflix back when they used to make shows. Uh, does anybody have an opinion on what I should do here? Because I'm kind of leading towards seeing what the freak is going on with this one. As interesting as it w would be to sleep with the hot chick. But she's clearly doing it to manipulate us, no? It's like, we don't want to fall into her game. Yeah, I gotta see what's going on with this crazy chick. I gotta see. Oh, the face. <laughs> oh, look, she's got the moth from, um, whatchamacallit, Silence of the Lambs on there. These tattoos are actually badass. Sounds like she might die. Yeah, yeah, she might. She might die if we don't go. She might die if we do go, but either way, that's interesting. Yeah, let's go with the crazy one. Courtney sorry, Love, all you. I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. All, all right. right. Thank you. Come on, follow me. Well, Elizabeth, what was so urgent? For God's sakes, what happened in here? It's beautiful. What do you mean? Well, I like the candles. It's a very nice ambience. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm it's telling right, you, I'll you have nothing to, stay on to the be floor. afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? Original. You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top, and I saw her in the you distance. You in my night drink? Oh, it is a ritual. Right away, Look, Look at I'm that. I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognized my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? And you were yes, drunk? Louis, I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. His tone Listen, is so I'm mean. Telling you, it was her. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm, Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. Who are you fighting with the now, Courtney I Love? I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. Oh, she's it was here. Billy Corgan. I'm telling you, it was her. Yeah, she she's a bad one. Yes, I need something to calm me down. Hell yeah, drink up, slut. Let's go. Drink it, Louie. Yeah, just one glass, you're fine. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Louis. Loosen up. Salut. I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. <laughs> you know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. The more I drink, the better Louis looks. Whoa. Alcohol's <sighs> gone to my head. That's right, girl. Keep pouring. She got a heavy hand, too. Here, the condemned's last drink. Don't be a nerd. Don't be a nerd. Don't don't be a nerd. Come Man, on. I, I need to take it easy with the booze. 
At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. <laughs> As he drinks it. <laughs> you Ugh, stupid slut, yes. The second one isn't any easier. <laughs> Louis, so, you deserve it. do you it. want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Lesbianism. Look at that knife. Can we pick it? Can we pick up the knife? Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. What? Now you're encouraging her to drink? What is going on with this character motivation? Oh no. You have used four consumable items in a single quest and consumed a noxious element. Dialogue timer is no longer visible. Use a golden elixir. I will not. Louis deserves what he gets. I feel all dizzy. You have a little booze hound? This there is must what have you been get. a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She tell me wanted about to my silence mother. Them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The lambs. The voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Uh, she start graving that? Elizabeth, do you realize what you're saying? Of course, Louis. This is what I live every day. But these spirits, Elizabeth, don't exist. You do realize that. These voices in your head, it's, it's you, in fact. Nobody is speaking to you. The text tattoo on her arm is the lyrics to Celebrity just Skin. for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did I'll make everything me over. to make me go away. I'm all I wanna be. A walk is study in demonology. You spent See? your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh shit. Oh shit. What has she done to you? Oh shit. Uh oh, Louie. Are you starting to believe me? No, but shh. Too bad it's all been for nothing. Yeah. They're still there, you know. What do Who? you mean? They're still talking to you? The voices. All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. The paparazzi. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. Jacques. I'm going to die here. Neat. I beg you, tell me you believe me. Uh, yeah, let's just humor her. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. Drunk as a skunk. And I do believe you. When I'm drunk. Thank you, Louis. You know, despite what people might think, I I'm didn't kill Kurt Cobain. <laughs> Guys, what are you even drinking, yo? My God, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Advise her to escape the island. Advise her to stay here. Huh. Look at her just kind of not enough, girl. We need to get you back to promises. It's rehab number seven for you, Courtney. Do it for Frenchie Bean, or whatever your daughter's name is. Francis Bean. <laughs> there you go. Advise her to escape. Advise her to stay. Anybody got any opinions? I don't remember what the right thing to do here is. I don't think there is a right thing to do, technically. Stay. Alright, well you answered first. Let's not rush into things. You have nothing to fear here. I'm you have you. everything to fear here. Anyway. My mother's gone missing. You're not in any danger. Yeah, let's bring the attention back to my mom. Listen to me. Don't give up. You must resist. And tomorrow, you'll see. Things will be better. You like my little concoction, don't you? I love a That's concoction right. cocktail. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. Oh, that's opium. 
We love that shit. What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Woohoo! Oh man, I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. You should feel like that all the I time. That's what get you get. Back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. My little junkie. I'll take good care of you. Like we did, Kurt. What is this bitch gonna do to me? <laughs> Don't Kurt. touch me. Just leave. <laughs> He's afraid of girls. If I get up, I'll fall. Oh, oh buddy. Oh, mm. you're okay. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, little Louie's tired. Oh, a little Leave Louis. everything to me. Yeah, pick up the knife. Yep, she did. This will end well. She's not my mom. What? Mademoiselle, may I come in? <laughs> trait unlocked. Inebriated. It's now a character trait. Huzzah, we've turned it into Disco Elysium. <laughs> she drugged us. Shit. Surprise! Wait a second. I whoa oh. That's not jam. It's Vegemite. And Vegemite is disgusting. What? Oh. Elizabeth! Oh no! No, it's not how it looks. Soap opera techniques, I love it. We've got mysterious twins. Blackout murders. It's so soap opera -y. I adore it. I could have joined Emily in my room. Instead, I got this. You did call it pure. It's fantastic, no? The best game you ever played? Yes? <laughs> what other game can you get drugged and accused of Moida? I don't know, maybe a lot of games. But not with this level of class. We've completed another chapter. Okay, we still got another 45 minutes. We could do one more. I love the Sherlock games as well. I'm going to be doing Sherlock Awakened in October. I've already got a couple of test clips of that one up on TikTok. It's, I love all the Sherlock games, but this one I'm especially excited about. It just came out this year and it's got a Cthulhu theme. It's very Lovecraftian Sherlock. So hyped for that in October. Not sober October. Um, what would be helpful to do next? What's this? Logic? Is anything almost done? What is this one almost done? Manipulation. All right. Yeah, we want that. And there's a few of these that only need two. We could do questioning. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Vigilance. Notice noteworthy details on oddly placed elements. Psychology. We already got a level of that. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. We did get a level of that. Erudition. That's just knowledge. Occultism. That's forbidden knowledge. Politics. Just nations and stuff. Etiquette. Okay, we probably want to get the nations and stuff because you'll look like an idiot if you get one of those wrong in, in this crowd. Validation! Oh, that was the end of the first section of the game. The game was released in five episodes, quote unquote. So we've just concluded one episode with the tragic murder of Abigail Adams' daughter. Congratulations to us. So, <laughs> chapter five. Where is my mother? <laughs> it's next. Just never ending whining about his mommy. Boing. That's the sound of everybody doing Louis' mom. <laughs> How many times must I tell you you must never Stump. put your life on the line for me. 
Mother has always had a fascination. It smells like beef Wellington. But has never wanted to tell me why. Oh, mother's we touch. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? Absolutely. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wulner, Minister of Religious Affairs. And Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You'll find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. <laughs> what a shot. Monsieur de Richet. I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Which you absolutely did, you junkie freak. I don't know what excuse you're going to come up with for that. Oh, what's this one do? Okay. Yeah, we need more erudition. Ew, Ryder, what did I do? What did I say? Oh, is it the boing? <laughs> Look, you explain to me why that boing is there in between every chapter as the load screen sound. You explain it to me if there's some other... Oh, the Beef Wellington thing. Yeah, that is gross. But hey, I call him like I see him. Or smell him. I'm a possum. I have a very refined sense of smell. And if I tell you that stump smelled like a Beef Wellington, you better believe it. It had a mushroom and onion. Room lad. And the puff paste three crust. And just the dankness of barely pink, rawish red meat bleeding through the bandages. Did that help? <laughs> Never doubt the nose of a possum. Boing. Some office buddy, wow. We finally get to meet him, and it's when we're being accused of a murder. Hide and seek. Episode 2. Dua, yes, the French word. Is there nothing you want to say, Louis? I... Uh, he is wasn't so me. fucked I, up. I, I didn't kill her. I, I'd much rather have met you under different circumstances. Lord Mortimer, believe me, I'm very conscious of the gravity of the situation. Everything seems to point to me as the one who killed Elizabeth, but I swear I am innocent. I only got out drunk with her. For your mother. Rest assured. I'm blacked I do out. Want to believe you? And all I want is to be able to prove it to you. When do we start? We already have. Tell me, Louis. How do you feel? Hmm. Are we fighting? My lord, don't take this wrong way, but what do you mean by a question like that? You find me unconscious in front of Miss Adams' body and you ask me how I feel? I am very serious. This is patriarchy. I'm concerned for you. This face right here. Where are you going with this, my lord? He is the embodiment Sarah's of patriarchy. Behavior grew odd before her disappearance. Her attitude changed. She became prey to outbursts of violence and a number of temporary hey, absences. Stop trying to caress me. I'm just trying to make sure that you don't go getting lost like your mother did. You're not suggesting that I might have killed Elizabeth and that I don't remember, are you? I don't know, Louis. It's just that what with your mother and now you, it's rather a lot. The more I take stock of the situation, the more I'm under the impression that you've been set up. But before going any further, I must inform you that Sir Gregory is about to arrive. He is coming to question you about the murder of poor Elizabeth, whom he was very fond of. Yeah. He is quite determined to find the culprit, whomever they may be. So, convince him of your innocence. Then we can continue this conversation. That's bizarre that he's so presumably innocent to you, William, guy. I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. Let's step be. outside a moment. They're just Louis, roommates. This will only take a few moments. They're not having a personal conversation about love and who didn't make the bed this morning. It's purely business. A 
I still can't read. Let's snoop. All right, let's take this chance to look. Possum around. code number one eighteen. Always snoop when given the opportunity. What's up, Brax? Good to see you here. Lovely emotes you got there. Twitch doesn't let me have emotes because they got stingy somewhere along the years. What? Who's whistling at me? I mean, I know I'm fine in my wig and petticoat, but the wolf whistles a bit much. Yeah, Twitch is stingy and won't let me have emotes. I would give you guys all the free emotes in the world. I ha I would give you an emote for every possum costume, at the very least, and Twitch is keeping it from you, just so you know. Kick lets me give all the emotes, but it's a lot of work to stream in two places or transfer stuff. I don't know. There's not a lot of people on Kick either. It's not really worth the time. Plus, Kick does not have a live... It only has a live clipping tool, so you can't clip from a VOD, which is just bizarre to me. Anyway, back to Snoop. That's a lot of text. Do you remember anything strange? No, not that I remember. Oh no, we're gonna get caught snooping. We should have snooped more. You didn't say we couldn't snoop. Please, sit back down, Louis. Uh-oh. Not the guillotine guy. This sort of behavior is not working in your favor, young man. Monsieur de Richet, you were found standing over Miss Adams' body. We must shed some light on your responsibility in this tragedy. We shall then decide on your fate. But you must know that if you do not convince us of your innocence, it will cost you dearly. Now you are going to tell us everything that happened last night without leaving any detail out. First things first, how did your evening begin? Uh, yeah, I got a witness. Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came upon us. Oh, so you were with the Duchess? Yes, we were talking. We were walking up the stairs and it was late. Where did you come from? Uh, Where did you go? I don't remember. Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, lie. And we came from the small salon, I believe, and and then yes, we were heading for our lives when we're Elizabeth winning. Burst into the corridor, barely dressed. Talking she was fighting in this game. Insisted on speaking to me, so I found myself in Elizabeth's room. We sat down together. She insisted we have a drink, or she would refuse to confide in me. Hmm. What exactly did she want to speak about at such a late hour? Billy Corgan. She was just obsessed with Billy Corgan. She was distressed. She she just found out that I was Sarah Deriche's son and sort of insisted on telling me about the horrors my mother made her suffer. Horrors? She was convinced she was going to die. <laughs> it turns out she wasn't wrong. And what happened next? Then she told me she had poured laudanum in my glass. The next minute I was on the floor. When I woke up, she was lying in a pool of blood. That is all you had to say? You expect us to believe that you have no idea what happened to her? Yes, because I'm telling you the truth. How can you possibly expect us to believe you? Because we're Maybe. all guys, you and men look out for men. We wouldn't want to falsely accuse a guy of murder just because some woman died. Louis, Think about the man. You have any idea who could have done it? Uh, you. Let's blame Washington. Because fuck George Washington. Maybe Mr. Washington. But of course. And what would his motive be? I believe he thought Elizabeth was stillborn. Washington could have been trying to protect the secret of his vice president. Elizabeth's father. Right. Sorry, Louis. But it so happened that Mr. Washington spent most of the time with oh, Duchess no. Hillsborough. She confirmed it. Damn it. She went and slept with Washington because we didn't sleep with her? Oh, uh, no. Let's blame Mom. Well, even if I can't believe for a single instant that my mother could have murdered someone in that manner, she might have wanted to stop Elizabeth from speaking about their mutual past. And things might have turned nasty. It is indeed a possibility. Could she have wrestled like her down with one hand? We're helping us shed light on what happened last night. To be 
honest, you are not the only suspect. Were there I'm prepared stuff to wounds? believe you were dropped. Our poor Elizabeth hid the stuff everywhere, and I could smell laudanum on you three yards away. So you knew it wasn't me from the start? We <laughs> they assumed sure. it. Louis, I am sorry, but everything points in the same direction. I only know one person on this island who might have had a big enough grudge against Elizabeth, who has no alibi, and whose behavior is, well, suspect. It's you, Louis. Not to mention dangerous. Tell me what happened before my arrival. You got this big cut I on think your I've face. Been it's suspicious. Enough. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. We are leaving. Bounce. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. About how I did her, just like everyone else. She isn't missing, you know. What? What, what do you mean? My mother has left traces in every nook and cranny of your island, my lord. She's definitely here. Now, what worries me most is why she doesn't show herself. Mm, that doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. Can't trust what the lady. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. But I did I nothing. We had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. yes. Starting wars is How fun. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. A little sneak. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. And we war is see. fun! However, there's one thing that surprises me. War is the ultimate entertainment of the elite. Didn't you know? Did my mother sell arms? Or only that one hand? But um bum -tsh. Hey! <laughs> uh, I kill myself. Isn't Bonaparte a bit slay myself? So slay, much attention? slay, Twitch! Don't <laughs> censor me. You come straight to the point. I like that. Indeed, if you knew just how much you remind me of him, trust me, I'll wager that Monsieur Napoleon will soon prove himself. I'm working on it, at least. He's expendable. <laughs> I mean, this war is fun. Closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures. She was going to play bongos in my band. Now she's conference. useless. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you? do me the great honor of attending, if only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Bros, stick ah, together. Thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what he said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? Uh, that's a strange question. Should we tell him the truth? Try to buy some of his trust? She she was looking for someone. What, what, what do you mean? In Paris, we were working on a smuggling case to do with occult objects. We had just arrested a dealer who intended to go to you Von to be fire. My mother was here to find out to whom he intended to sell his stolen treasure. Oh. Uh, what was the name of your dealer? Von Borschert, and I was never on his side because I was just winning at talk fighting and, and being a smart liar. If I'm not mistaken, the dealer was called Von Brochet? No, it's uh, Borschert. Fuck. Means nothing to me. Fuck. There's something I still don't get. Pick the wrong name. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? Maybe she's wary of someone. She might have discovered something. Maybe she's lost her mind. Let's throw him off a little bit. I'd like to find a logical answer, but I 
I just can't see anything. Apart from the fact that she might have lost her mind. You know Since how ladies get all hysterical. Here, I've ceased to understand her. That, plus what I've found out about her past, and I'm left with the bitter feeling that... She I has really terminal lady brain. Mm. I can understand you beginning to feel that way after these past two days, but I'm sure all will become clear once your mother reappears. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, or she went through the change. Together, I see. Solving the world's problems. Menopause. Man, oh, pause. Enough about her. What of her disappearance? What did you speak about together? You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. Too well. What did you talk about together? Oh, as soon as why we is it on fire back time, there? We like to share <laughs> points of view about practically any subject. We would find ourselves ah, involved it's on fire in over terrible there. discussions that could go from Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jesse, or the adoption of the metric system in France last year, or even Mr. Eli Whitney's invention in the United States. Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin. The armistice between the Russians and the Turks. Russia's come out of it having officially won Crimea, which gives it direct access to the Black Sea. And, at the same time, the Mediterranean Sea. I'm worried about the decisions Sarina Catherine might decide to take. She's a woman who managed to get rid of her husband to accede to the upper reaches of power. That's why she's Catherine the Great. access to the Mediterranean Sea remains her main objective. When she still had that dear Potemkin as her lover, I could always find out about her intentions, but those days are over. Yep, she's a girl boss. You're speaking of Grigory Alexandrovich Potemkin? The very man. The little devil behind the mother of all Russians. Since his death, I know absolutely nothing of what the Tsarina is up to. Oh, she's actually German. Really? Ah, yes. I didn't mean to shock you. Uh, please forgive me. Let's just say that, in my position, it is often advantageous to know about the habits and customs of world leaders. We also binge-watched The Great Together, starring Elle Fanning and Nicholas Holt. Subject. Very oh, funny. Are you joking? Sarah and I spent entire days together reliving them. Yeah, so binge-watching season two, two where Gillian Anderson shows up. Especially the third. My ancestor I didn't see the third season yet. I gotta do that. the siege of Saint-Jean d'Acre. D'Acre. Uh, do I have anything? I have no things. Unfortunately, my lord, the crusades are not my chosen field. Well, it doesn't matter. You have plenty of time to learn. Your mother is a very well-read woman. Who's wolf whistling at my mother? Yes, I know. But I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are... Worse things to worry about now, Louis. What do you mean? Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Yes. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? She nod off her own hand. That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. Stop being you said a sissy. You spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened? for that to change. I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? When did she know she all of her hands? She shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. Did it start with nibbling? Would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. 
That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on our trail not. and follow up any leads. And you're copying you. my petticoat. Uh, we Please will go meet change. Later on, to welcome our last guest. Yeah, wearing In something meantime, different, you. I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank Leave you. the escot brooch for me. Hmm. The we just stay just winning. Mortimer's study. Go to the tower room. Is this the tower room? No. Nope. None of them did like her anyway. What is the big deal? Locked. Did these go up? Nope. I'm assuming a tower would be up. Should have gone the exact opposite direction of where I started out going. Free stuff? No. We're running and running and running and running. Nothing like running through an expensive place is this. Is that? No. They're all peaceful. I love running through expensive places, just knocking everything down that looks fragile. The pleasant smashing of glass. Uh, wait, there wasn't another stairway on the other side. Nope. Tower, 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 tower room. Napoleon. That jerk. Trying to swindle me on cannons. Have I gone in a circle? Oh, nope. There we go. No. Locked. Dirty chaise room. Bonaparte's room. Here's where we are. Okay, there's another. There's another second floor hallway. Coming up. I hate looking at maps. Sue me. What? Is this it? Nope. Uh, Adams's room. Must be on a different floor. So then why can't I go downstairs? Shit! Why are games always trying to make me get lost? Uh what's this room? Locked. Hmm I guess we gotta find a way downstairs. Going around in circles. And that's my room. Mm -hmm. Okay, stairs. How's up? No. I don't understand. No! God damn it, game. What do you want me to do? Go to the tower room. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. What the heck? And that's not labeled. These are the ones that go downstairs that didn't work. What? What the shit? Oh, I think. The quorum guide. So this should be it, man. But it's not. Oh, hey. 
a room that wasn't on the map. I guess this is it. There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment, but hey, Ooh. I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. And he Who had a be? sword. Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. Stuff? Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Ooh, somebody really likes their honey. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in a race. Did you hear the scary voice? Then we're not going to comment on that. It's just oh, hearing voices, hearing hearing spooky, scary voices. That's normal. What is this disc? A disc? Like a floppy disk? A computer disk? What other kind of discs did they have back in the 1700s? What would they even call a disc? St. Paul on the road Ooh, to Damascus. Hot bondage. Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Ah, uh, Caravaggio. Paul more deal. Curtains of his illusions being raised and receives the light from his savior. Now I want Carpaccio. Intoxicated again? Damn it. The door appears to be locked on the other side. Yeah, we could subterfuge it. Aw, crap. I, think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. Open sesame. Just a little B and E never hurt nobody. Stealing from the rich is always right and good. It's open. I find a class pure. You're not going to learn as much as I taught you this morning with our historical fiction, just for the record. Old man reads Fox News. Several portraits of apostles. All signed by Guido Pliny. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and polish, polish, dust. polish. Fingerprints? What? It's Saint John, painted by Guido Rini. He's writing a fan fiction about Jesus. Shipping him and Mary Magdalene. But it's set in a world of vampires. So it's titled Mary Fangbanger. No pillows on the bed. Clearly the bed of a sociopath. Serial killer. More jelly. Yum, yum, yum. St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. He got a sword. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's the written sword? down the figure 11 on the painting. And underlined it twice. I don't know what does that mean. Let's think. So we have the figure eleven twice underlined, 
and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? Maybe it's Thanksgiving, and 11 is November. Clearly that's it, and I'm not just hungry for turkey. Mmm, turkey dinner. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. Thanksgiving sandwiches. No, we got a key with the earth symbol on it. It's more John, or Matt, whoever. The New Testament. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm remembering, okay. So Paul had the sword, and there was an 11, but maybe it was a two. I don't know any of these chapters. What the freaking? How shall not the ministration of the spirit not be more glorious? What? Uh, let's look at another Paul one. Is there one that says, uh, go back to the beginning. Is there one that says pilgrims? Uh... Act. No, we don't want Luke. Acts of the Apostles? Verse 11? Then they suborned men, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. Screw Moses. We need a clue. It's a little hard to read the text. I don't know. None of these got an 11. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit not be Okay, that's the one I already did. It's got to be in this one because it looks like an 11. Now I pray to God that ye do no evil, not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, for we are as reprobates. You're a reprobate. Because we look not at the things that are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Oh, that's lovely. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved, and in them that perish. Damn it! Let's look for more clues. drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. That wasn't helpful at all. But this Rennie guy was clearly an influence on Norman Rockwell. We did that one. What about this one? Oh, free stuff. Painting of St. Mark. From the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. I like this Rini guy. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Heck yeah, I will. I don't know what it does, but I'll keep it. Ooh, Ember. You collected four. Your maximum effort points decrease. Ah, nice. Amber Crystal. Dante's 
Mortal's Paradox. Oh no, I Raise forgot. Raise your head and it's be reassured. It's a creepy, creepy boy has run away. What comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. I don't know. I guess we could just brute force it and look through every single option. Whose end is destruction, whose god is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame. Who think only of earthly things. It's me. My glory's in my belly. We had John paintings, right? He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Oh, fuck all this Bible shit. Uh, consult notes. Trust my faith in the man with the sword. That was Paul. It's definitely Paul. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds. And in defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye all are partakers of my grace. I mean, it's clever because the, the Bible is also copyright free. Finally, brethren, but also very whatsoever dull. things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, whatever you whatsoever there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. No, I'll never think of that again. Do all things without murmurings and disputes. What's up, Moogs? We're combing through Bible passages to figure out where our mommy left us a note. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, we're supposed to be able to figure out, based on these paintings in the room, which Bible passages we're supposed to read, but it's... Pretty obscure references. Analyze the book. What is the volume it? Volume of the Glutenberg Bible. Glutenberg. Moogs can't have any of that. No, I did all these. For you are bought with a price. Therefore. Glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. I know, for shame of me not being up to date on my artistic interpretations of obscure Bible references. Uh, the shame. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. What? That seemed vaguely anti-Semitic, and I don't approve of it. If we have hope in Christ in this life only, we are, of all men, most miserable. Well, that one I agree with. Now, therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, oh, look, here's a message. Yeah! It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize the rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. Oh no, it was just a booty call. Mom? Mom, you can't put booty calls in the Bible. Oh wait, Mark. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta find another message under Mark. Uh, St. Mark? Oh, come on, which... Don't make me do all of them. Then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. Uh... And behold, 
There cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, cometh. Jerus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. In, in the cometh? Wow. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread mm. and blessed it and broke it Food. and gave it to them and said, Take. Eat, eat this, bitches. This is my body. Uh, cannibalistic rituals. Nostalgia from my childhood. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and Jordan. Damn it, it wasn't any of the marks. Are you kidding me? So, uh, I don't know. Saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and mm. honor and glory and blessing. And Rosemary. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. Nothing like a little bit of fear. Saying, with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And, and, and. <laughs> Who wrote this? A five-year-old? And, and. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt, not the oil and the wine. What? Why is that? What is that? A shopping list of the Bible? Uh, go back. Main. Uh. I already looked at Acts. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Oh, this is just brainwashing. It's hard to even remember where I was at. Okay, I think here. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. Oh, that's, that's pretty badass sounding, actually, Golgotha. Golgotha. I and my father are one. Ew. Now, there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. Oh my god, they're talking about Starfield. They're also excited for it coming out next week. Even in the Bible, they had problems with the bugs in Bethesda games. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John and George. Damn it, I read that one. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. Shit, 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 shit. Next skill use is free. Okay. We only got one free skill use, so we gotta... Use it wisely on one of these painting the clues. Symbol representing air. Oh, we could pick the locks. Golden elixir. I don't know if that was really helpful. And we couldn't even pick it up. Now we could pick it up. No, we can't. Shit! Shit, I chose poorly. 
St. Paul painted by Guido Rini. So we have the figure 11 twice underlined and a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere. And no. it must be associated with the figure 11. No, we already did this What's one. the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? Okay. He's not an evangelist. Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the 13th apostle. I thought that was Mary Magdalene. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting. Yeah, we know. And underlined it twice. Yeah. No, what does that mean? Don't mean shit, apparently. Apparently means nothing. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Pliny. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints in the sheets and in the dust. Damn it, Louie, I should be having my lunch now, but you haven't figured out this stupid puzzle. Oh. I need more cheat points. I don't want to keep reading the Bible. Uh, Revelation. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. If you say so. No, no, no. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Yeah, that's kind of what darkness does. No. Hereby know that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. Oh, that's not all he gave us. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Okay, I can't do any more Bible quotes. I'm going to finish this puzzle offline, and we'll pick it up after the endless Bible quotes <laughs> next week. There's no more. I will not subject you to any more Bible. I gave it my honest good effort. Uh, yeah, and I'll uh, look it up offline and get this part out of the way. Because, boy, is that boring. There's a lot I love about this game, but this puzzle is not it, man. Clever. Clever use of a lot of free-use artwork and, and bookery, but ultimately fails in its execution. So, yeah, thank you for coming, and... Uh, We'll see you next time on a much less bible episode of The Council. Have a great rest of your day. I love you all. Mwah.